Hey everyone, Harris here with the iDownload blog, and in this video we're taking a look at the top 8 features that you need to know about iOS 14 and that you need to try. If you're watching this video, it means iOS 14 is available to download and try out, so let's go ahead and get started. So number one is a Siri redesign. So Siri's been around for a long time now, many years, but she hasn't really changed her appearance all that much. But now... Finally, it does not take up the entire screen when you're using Siri. So there's now a less intrusive, compact user interface when using Siri. And this is for the iPad and the iPhone. So when you go into Siri, whether using the voice command or the home button or the power button, it'll now pull up a smaller, much more compact circle on the bottom of your screen that sometimes you don't even notice. Once Siri has your command, it'll pop up at the very top of the screen and it'll give you all the information you need with as little interference as possible. Secondly, in a similar vein, you now have for the first time in a very long time, a phone call redesign. So again, a less obtrusive, compact user interface for phone calls, whether it be FaceTime calls, FaceTime audio, or phone calls. This is awesome. So if you're getting a phone call, you now get the option to hang up or decline from the very top of your screen when you're using your phone. So you can be scrolling through an app, get this phone call. So you can either swipe it up, which basically just mutes it, but it doesn't decline it, or you can answer it or decline it. And then you can also access things such as the speakerphone from this interface, and you can also go into the full-fledged phone dialer just by clicking. So this is great. Coming at number three, picture in picture just like you have it on the iPad, is here with the iPhone, and this is great. So for instance, if I'm watching some baseball, all I have to do is go to my home screen or really tap on notification or switch to any other app, and in doing so, it'll put a picture-in-picture -picture mode of that video. Now this works for a lot of different applications such as Amazon Video, um, MLB at bat, Safari, and more. You can resize, you can open or close, you can pull it off to the side with a little tab hanging out. There's a lot of options you can do here but it works very very well. Number four, your home screen and widgets. So just like before, you can swipe to the right of your home screen and you get into the kind of today or widget view. And this is standard, although it has been redesigned. But then when you go back to your home screen, you of course have the ability to drag out some of those widgets and put it right on your home screen. Just by tapping and holding on your home screen, you can enter into the widget selection mode and you see a bunch here from Apple and hopefully more coming from your favorite developers too to add widgets right to your home screen. They are interactive, so you can tap on them. You can't scroll through the widget on your home screen, but you can tap on the widget and it'll open up the corresponding app. This is great because there are different sizes available, different apps, and there's a whole lot of customization that you can do with any combination of apps and widget on your home screen. Still not as flexible as Android, but is a huge step in the right direction. Number five, if you're a fan of maps, there's a lot of cool little changes to it, such as speed cameras when you're driving, electric vehicle routing, as well as a new location refining feature I made a video talking about all the changes to maps on iOS 14, so I'll leave that linked down below, or you can click the button in the corner of the video. Number six, text messages has some cool new features. So starting out, you can pin your favorite conversations to the top, so you no longer have to scroll or search for your favorite locations. This is awesome, and you can have a bunch up at the top, and I use this a lot. You can slide to the right to get into the pin mode, or you can also hold it down and click the pin or unpin option. Secondly, you can directly reference someone in your text. So you can add them or type their name, and it will try to recognize if somebody in the chat has that contact name, and then it will notify them specifically if they have that feature turned on on their phone. Number seven. So we talked about the home screen before, but one thing that is really cool is if you tap the dots at the bottom of the screen, you actually have the ability to completely hide or show whole pages. Now this is great if you only want a widget page and you want to very quickly unadd any page that has apps or vice versa or any combination. So I particularly like this to have a distraction free home screen where I just have a reminders and a calendar widget and then my dock and then I can still swipe right to get to the app library where I can see all my applications. You can also get into spotlight search by swiping down as always. So there are several ways of getting to your favorite applications even if they are not on your home screen and you can always customize this at any time using the same method. And number eight, there's a bunch of small things throughout the OS. One of my favorites being searching in the emoji drawer, which is great, and we've been lacking it for a while. I've got about 10 other really cool hidden features and kind of Easter egg features. I'll leave that video linked down in the description as well. But there's a bunch of cool little features that probably aren't worth their own video, but that make for a great video combined. Anyway, iOS 14 is available for you to download. Make sure to check out our coverage of it, and we'll see you in the next video.